Hello everyone, my name is John Marisondra and today I'm going to teach you how to paint this wonderful surreal landscape. Uh, you can see there's a big turtle with uh, some uh, trees on the on the back. Okay, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notification of my new videos and tutorial. Okay, you can see all the materials on the screen. You can see there the five limited colors, the brushes that we need and all the things that we're going to need to paint this tutorial. Okay, I'm going to start now and I already do I already did the the first step is the sketching so that I will not waste my time doing the sketch. So I'll just do it uh, right away with the colors and if you want to do a sketching you can use the pencil also. And here I'm using the paints and uh, light to umber. Okay, so I'm going to start. I'm going to make the the sky a little uh, uh, sunset or something like that in the afternoon scene so I'm going to try to use some red and white I just want to make a little colorful sky today a little white and yellow I added yellow everyone All you have to do is blend it here. I'm going to use more yellow and then some white there. On the bottom, it should be some like uh, light orange. And then on the top, I'm going to make it uh, like purple. Or somewhere like a uh, light blue first. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll just make it a really dark colors there. Darker bluish color. I don't want to create, uh, I want to create a more contrasting color. Uh, background here when you compare it to the foreground which is the turtle so I'm gonna make it uh, darker to add some white so I'm going to uh, meet it with the center here add some white get a little lighter on the bottom and then I will try to blend it here but uh, my paint is actually is fine There. Now I'm going to try to use some uh, reddish purple and then white. And then I'm going to put it on the middle here. I'm gonna add more red and then white. Okay. So that will become much more like 
very beautiful afternoon scene. There. And then I want to blend it here on this part. Using a little lighter orange or some reddish tone. It's okay everyone if you cover some parts there. And then I'll try some light orange there and then white. I need to blend it very very well here okay that's it yeah my sky now is uh, dark here but I can still see some light on the bottom so it looks good add some more yellow and then white And this yellow and white thing, I'm gonna put it on the bottom on this part. So that you can still see some light yellowish tone there. And my painting will still look like colorful. There. Okay, next I'm going to put some mountains of distant mountains I think I'm going to cover some dark color first for this uh, turtle yeah, I'm gonna use a smaller brush now so here I have some blue umber and uh, blue color I'm gonna put a little red to make it dark there I'm gonna put some dark tones first. Yeah. If you are painting with me, everyone, uh, you can just follow what I'm doing. And always have fun. There. I'm gonna put some brown now here. Just use the rumber directly. But make sure that you can still see clearly your details. So I need other food. And then I'm gonna put some a little more bluish dark color for the yeah maybe just uh, rumber. Later we're gonna put details here. That's why I'm doing. I'm putting first some um, uh, background so that um, 
so that it, it will dry first and I can put uh, details right away after it dries Okay. There. So it's now full cover with the uh, underpainting. I don't know what it looks like now. But it's just a little try. I'm going to start adding the the mountains now in the background here. So I'll just use this small brush. Make sure that you clean your brush always. So I'm gonna use this a little purple color, so red and blue, and then white, there, a little more red, and white, okay. And I'm going to put some mountains. Then the horizon will be on this part. We are watching watching him from the top, so it will, the horizon will be on, the, on this part. Okay. to put a little mountain. This is really, really far. And then I will try to put some uh, near a mountain, but this will be a little more greenish. Yeah, maybe I will put some blue. There. And also here. This will be some near mountain. Okay. There. Yeah, later I'm gonna retouch the mountains there because I want it to be really looking realistic. I'm gonna use again. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to think that I'm going to put some. Uh, this. Uh, this. Uh, tortoise or this turtle. Uh, on the on the on the lake so I'm trying to put it yeah maybe it can also be yeah I'll try to because it's also be uh, be very challenging to how to gonna put it him there yeah so here I'm going to use some orange I'll try to put some reflection first with white. Okay. There. Okay. 
And then on the top, I'm gonna make it uh, much more purple. Blue and red. And then a little white. I just want to, on the water to be a darker reflection. Try to put some browns here. So okay, everyone, this is just an underpainting. So uh, it's expected that you cannot see any beauty in the underpainting. All you have to. All you can see is just uh, different types of colors there. Darks, lights, and anything. And also yellow here. And then this one will be some near a mountain, so I'm gonna use some uh, bluish or greenish color there. But I want it to be much more dark. With some brown or umber. There. And then some water reflections just drag it down like this yeah we can retouch later on don't worry about that and then on the part on the back part uh, just light yellow or greenish there okay so I think it's yeah, I'm going to start adding details now on this part of the pack. Yeah. But I don't want to exaggerate the colors here. I just want to make it a little light or something like. Because I don't want to make this part really. Because I want to emphasize on this part. It is the uh, the, uh, the, tur uh, the turtle. So maybe I'll just let it that way. Yeah, or maybe later I'll just retouch whatever I can do. So I don't want this part to be uh, bothering the entire peak of this start. So maybe I'll just decide it later on. Yeah, I think. Let's try now. I'm going to start adding colors on the background. So I'll just make it a little more misty. I'm going to add some yellow and white. Sorry. <laughs> there. And then I'm going to add some white on my palette. Okay. to use some yellow here and then red to be much more orange and then white I'm going to create some misty color here uh, what more like an orange or uh, reddish it's a misty color from the Sun something like that Usually, when the sun is really shining, 
right in the afternoon it can create some reddish or little purple colors there there and also here This one is a little farther mountain. Okay. I'm going to create a reddish purple. little dark on the, on the other part there okay yeah maybe I will try to put something interesting mountain here because this mountain is so boring on the back there and then also I'll try to put some highlights on the other mountain but it should be much more like orange here later one you can we can amplify this color there okay so you can see now this misty far mountain on the back it uh, looks good and then I want to much more put some much more yellowish tone here lighter so I want to amplify more the colors but it should be blended everyone there okay so it looks like now misty colors And then also here, it should be much more. So I think I'm gonna use uh, blue and red. And then white. Yeah, I'm gonna make this a little misty. Okay. And then this uh, uh, greenish mountain. So I'm gonna put the yellow green and white. I'm gonna make it a lighter color. So it is a lighter green. So I, I will not show any horizon here. So just like a mountain, mountainous area. I'm gonna put some greenish. Also this one I'm gonna make it a uh, greenish there 
and then I will try to put some forest on the bottom of the greenish mountain so here I have some blue and the red too much more purple and white I'm gonna make it a little lighter I'm gonna make it as pine trees, everyone. Small pine trees or some far pine trees. There. Okay. And also here. Some happy little pine trees. You can use a smaller brush if, you, if it's hard for you to like this. Okay, so you have now a very nice background. Yeah, I will not focus so much on that background everyone because uh, it takes me a lot of time also yeah here I'm gonna try to put the this will be the river bank and then I'll try to put some Casted shadow from the of the turtle. It should be dark brownish color. put also uh, a little mountain here or some cliff it will be good yeah maybe later everyone I'll just try to develop that and now I'll try to put some details here yeah but I will try to put some cliff but I'll be using the raw umber So this will be a cliff on the top of the back of the turtle. I uh, should be using darker color, raw umber with blue and the red. Yeah. And now I'm going to also to put some dark shades. Yeah. To tie some dark shades here. I'm going to emphasize more darks there because it's an afternoon so usually colors 
uh, shades are always on the dark part. But I'm not using any black everyone, I'm using uh, raw umber and blue and red. I'll try to put a little colors. Some orange colors on the on the tortoise. So I'm gonna use this umber, red, and then yellow. There, much more yellow. So you can put it here on this body. But I think this is just too light. I'm gonna put some more umber. A little light here. There. I'll just put some lights on the tortoise, especially in the head part. But later you can can change all the colors and retouch everything and also here on the on the left side on the right side I mean okay I'm going to put some room umber to move a little here for the head also here I try to make this darker So we just have to blend it uh, perfectly uh, smooth everyone but it doesn't have to be so smooth on here actually it's my first time painting like this it's, uh, I have some surreal paintings also but this one is very challenging also it looks good and and it looks uh, different okay so I'm gonna use again this uh, blue red and the raw umber and then here I'm gonna put some darks on the, on the bottom part of this mountain Uh, 
Okay. Yeah. Another thing I was yeah, I will finish with the background and then I'm gonna touch the turtle. Yeah, here I'm gonna make it very bright field. I'm gonna use a smaller brush. So I have here some blue and the red and some white. I'm gonna put a little reflection here. That should be much more light. And a little yellow. So just follow what uh, what you see on the top and you put it down. That's how I create the reflection. There. Okay. I know on this back I'm going to make a bright field here. So I have some uh, yellow. There. Right yellow field. Uh, we get a little orange. yellow field so there are some kind of sunflower field in the, the background or whatever plants there is but they will look like very bright colors and you can also put some shades there I'm gonna make it a little yellowish or greenish Okay, so let's try to put some details here, but maybe I'll just use the small brush. Can you use the pan brush also, everyone? Put some details there. Try to use some um, bluish green. This will be some forest here. There. Use a topping technique.
Okay. And then I have some uh, blue with a little greenish, yellow. I'm gonna put some reflection here. So just 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 drag it down like this, and copy everything you see on the top. Okay, that's good. You can now see some reflections. And I'm going to improve this one here. I'm going to put a uh, much more yellowish tone. But make sure you clean your brush. So some red and yellow. And then a little white. There. Just drag it down. There. So we can now see some water reflection. So later we're gonna improve that put some water lines or whatever can I call that okay so I think I'm going to start now adding some highlights on this uh, no not yet Maybe not. I, want, I want to put the lights coming from the the left side here to strike on the face of the of the tortoise so here I have some uh, orange yellow press uh, red and white I think I don't like this brush I need some new brush, everyone. <laughs> there. But you can also use a smaller brush if you... If this brush is having a hard time using this one. much more orange I think this canvas need more uh, coats this is so rough Also here. Yeah, I think this canvas everyone needs one more coat of gesso. It is so rough. It is good for oil paintings, but not in acrylic. Yeah, I'll 
try to put some more potatoes but I'm going to use now the number one liner brush here first I'm gonna put the eyes uh, I'm gonna use the dark color which is the umber blue and the red with the eyes and this part will be the mouth to blend a little there yeah then I'll try to retouch everyone and to blend some more put on dark tones so here Some darks here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use the new brush. Let's put some tiny details here. Just use the wrong word to blend it here. Just use the wrong word, everyone. Just slowly blend this part. Okay. And also the shade here, by the casted shadow. Yeah. And then I'm gonna make this part a little bluish because um I want it to be much more uh, uh, dramatic in colors, so I'm gonna make that part a little more bluish so I'm gonna use this raw umber and then I have some blue and then white there are a few bluish reflection there on that, on that part there uh, bluish or little gray yes that can be so that it will have an off color or a little like uh, a cold, a cold color or something like that. I want to, to create cold and hot color lighting on the center.
Okay, so I'll just put some a little blue stone here. It's like a diffuse reflection coming from this part here. Or some bouncing lights. And also here everyone. The part of the shell. There. Okay. So the colors there are uh, gold. And then on the other side here, on the, on the back uh, feet, I'm going to also make it a little cold. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna make it a little more purple. Yeah. Gray and blue. And white. Yeah, you can make it a little purple or so everyone. And also here in this part, I can, I can make it like, I can put some more blue stone. Okay, I think purple is much more better everyone color compared to some bluish. I think purple is best. And this can uh, put, put some gold colors here. Yeah. yeah. It's almost one hour, everyone, and I'm still very, very far. Okay, there. And then I'll try to blend it here using a darker color, blue, red, and lumber. It's more bluish. Put more umber. There. And then I'll try to put a little details on the feet. Here. Some folds.
Again, some dark tones. I'm gonna put some little details, some folds. Especially in the feet, there. Okay, there you go. And then I will try to intensify the yellowish color here or orange. Make it look like there's yellow, uh, yellow light striking that part. So I'm gonna mix for orange. So you can see there, uh, it looks like he's being hit by the beer with light. And on, on the bottom part, uh, on the edge part, I'm gonna make it light yellowish. Uh, just white and yellow, everyone. So you can see now a big uh, nice light there. So here, yeah, I can see that there's some um, uh, details on the on the foot, on the feet, like a scales, everyone. So I need also to put that, but I don't like my brush. <laughs> There are some scales there and also here.
there okay so I really like the lights there it looks pretty awesome yeah it looks pretty intense and it's been one hour everyone and I'm still very far from the truth not yet done okay so I'm going to make it a little faster okay so yeah I'm going to make it faster so here I'm gonna put some some orange also Okay, and then some light yellow. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so what's next? I'm going to now start putting some some trees here. So I think I'm gonna put some pine trees or any trees that uh, come out to my mind. So first I'm gonna put some dark colors. Umber and blue and red. Yeah, some pine trees there. Okay. Then I'm gonna put uh, on the top some, I think some, yeah, I think I will put a reflect, a water, a waterfalls there. So I'm gonna use this light, a light umber. Also here. Because he's walking, it was so swaying away. There. Yeah. And then I'll try I'm gonna start now putting some uh, rocky cliff. So I'm gonna put uh, a little orange or yellowish. yellowish brown or something like that there I'm gonna put more water there 
So we can now see some cliff there. I'm gonna make it more yellowish. I don't know what happened to this can, but it's so rough. some room umbrella so there okay now I'm gonna use some room umbrella but it should be much more bluish so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put some blue there and then white put it here okay so we just do it slightly and make, it, make sure that it's lighter than the waterfall oh, it's darker than waterfall I'm sorry So you can now see clearly which is the difference between this light is much more cold, uh, hot here than this one is cold. So we can see the difference between this light. This painting is much more advanced, I think. Actually, my reference is not like this. I just changed this. Okay, now I'm going to put some uh, trees there. So I'll just use this small brush because this is small uh, canvas. So first I'm going to use some green. Uh, I need some yellow. A little darker now, everyone. You can start with a little dark colors. There. Uh, a little lighter. With white. Okay. there so it's now a little bluish i'm gonna put uh, also some reddish green a 
Okay, I'm gonna put some blue and then white. Little red. Okay, so I'm gonna mix it here. And then I'm going to start now putting some highlights, much more yellowish and orange, or some yellow green. Again, everyone can use the topping technique. I put it on the dark part, on the top of the darks. You can use the fan brush everyone if you because I think this is too small for the fan brush. This will be a little hard. I'm gonna put some orange with white. We can use the bristle fast brush, but I think it's too big. This one, yeah, I think it's too big. Everyone, uh, maybe I'll just try the one brush. Just use the tip here. Yeah, it's good. Fun brush is good for this. There. Okay, so I'm going to put also, I'm going to retouch a little. So, blue, I'm gonna put some dark tones, red and the romber.
there. Okay, so I think that looks good everyone. Even if I'm, it's been one hour and 17 minutes and I'm still not done. So this is really a long procedure everyone. It takes me more than an hour to finish this one. So, But I think it's also worth it. Yeah, the turtle is carrying a waterfall. Okay, so I'm going to continue and finishing this one. Okay, so I'm going to put some lights here on the waterfall. You're seeing the pure white. So this one some greenish. There. Okay, that looks good. There are waterfalls there. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put now some water reflections. Yeah, it falls. Okay. So I'll be using this blue, blue umber, and a little greenish. And I'm gonna put the reflection here. There. Yeah. I'm gonna make this part darker. part I'm gonna put some lights
Okay. Maybe one more. I will stand. Here's a bigger brush now, and here I'm gonna put some lights. So here's some uh, lumber, white, red, and then gonna put some yellow. This will be a river bank, everyone. It's much more reddish. I'm gonna put more yellow. So this is the river bank there. And then I, I will put some dark also, dark part. Not all are light. So this part may be covered by some some mountains on the on the or some forest here in the front. It's been one hour and 24 minutes everyone <laughs> but it's really really great and I like the result it looks pretty awesome I like everything there the lights yeah I'm going to continue more so I'll put some grasses here but I think I'll put some crusted shadow on the back Some little green shadows. just want to make this very very darker one because I want to have a good contrast and then I'm going to try to use some um, yellow and blue to create some plants here there it's a stopping technique So I use some direct yellow. I'm using now the fun brush, everyone. There. And then I'm gonna use a little darker. Darker greenish. There. 
there. Okay, you can see now lights here. And then I'm going to retouch now everyone. I'm going to just put some uh, purples here and I think I'm done after that. It's now 1 hour 27 minutes and I'm still a little far and but totally my last part. I'll be on the retouching part. So I'm gonna mix for orange. here so the color become brighter And here everyone, I'm going to put some water disturbance. There. I need some red. And I think yellow. So this is the last part and I think I'll be done. This small amount. Yellow and then red. So this one, this part here should be much more disturbed. The water should be much more disturbed because he's walking there in the water. Okay. more uh, water resorbance which is a little more bluish blue and the uh, red little purple and then white yeah sorry it should be a little darker Okay, and then uh, I think the reflection I need to put also. It's a light uh, bluish gray, everyone.
and also of course the water reflection of the of the orange feet So I'm gonna mix for orange. So all you have to do if you want to paint the reflection is to copy everything you see at the top. Okay, so I'm going to put some uh, lighter highlights here. On these highlights, I think I'm going to put that here. So some darks. I'm gonna put some darks. Uh, the color of the water should be a little yellowish but I need to put also the bottom the bottom will be like a little greenish there are some rocks there or brown brown rocks I'm gonna put a little bluish so I'm gonna put some white and the blue but it should be darker blue just light blue everyone So I'm not really sure yet for the reflection, so I think I'm going to improve more there. Yeah, just a little more everyone, I think I'm done. Yeah, I think I'll just improve more on the reflection, and I think I will be done. So here I have orange. Here, I'm gonna put some lines. Put this light, 
light bluish something a little yellowish okay everyone a really stick but I think I'm gonna put uh, some little disturbance on the water with light disturbance I think I am done everyone so I think I will just improve more on the water reflection I'm not yet really really convinced but for me it looks pretty good so I think I'm done I finished it for 1 hour and 39 minutes so it's almost 1 hour and 40 minutes and I'm really convinced the painting is really really good and I want to say thank you for watching this video today um, maybe I'll just put some more highlights here in the eyes or everything Okay everyone, so I want to say thank you for watching this video today and I hope you get something out of this. And my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors of palette because I want you to learn how to, learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praise always belongs to the Lord.